वेलकम टू और केमिस्ट्री फॉर एवरी वन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू ड्रॉ मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल डायग्राम ऑफ कार्बन मॉलिकल कार्बन अटोमिक नंबर सिक्स फ्रॉम दैट वी कैन राइट दैट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन सिंस देर आर टू कार्बन आइटम्स आर देर इन द कार्बन मॉलिकल वी कैन राइट दैट अनदर कार्बन आइटम हेंस इन कार्बन मॉलिकल वी नीड दैट ट्वेल्व Electrons in carbon due to sp mixing, this order is reversed. After filling that pi two p x and pi two p y, then only we can fill this one because due to sp mixing, this two p z orbital gets higher energy. So let us draw molecular orbital configuration. So sigma one s two, then sigma star one s. Next, we will go for writing 2s orbital, sigma 2s 2, then sigma star 2s 2. Now we go to write this. So instead of writing pi 2p z, we go to write now pi 2p x. Pi 2p x is equal to pi 2p y because this both has the same energy. So here also two and here also two. Now count the electrons two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So twelve electrons are present. Using this molecular orbital configuration, we can draw that molecular orbital diagram. Molecular orbital diagram is the graphical representations in which molecular orbitals are represented in the increasing energy. Here we go to show that only for the 2s orbital and 2p orbital we are not going to show that 1s orbital. So in 2s orbital we have two electrons for each carbon atom. So that two electrons. The same way for another carbon atom also two electrons. So this is atomic orbitals. These atomic orbitals combine. They form molecular. orbitals so when they form we get that low energy bonding molecular orbitals and then another one high energy anti bonding molecular orbitals so electron first enter into low energy bonding molecular orbital so one electron from this atom and another electron from this atom then after that it moves to high energy anti bonding molecular orbital so this is sigma that means bonding molecular orbital this is sigma star anti bonding molecular orbitals so four electrons entered into that orbital now we come to 2p orbitals in 2p orbital carbon atom has two electrons so let us show the two electron then the same way for another carbon atom also two electrons so when these atomic orbitals combine we will get the molecular orbitals but due to sp mixing now which orbital comes first pi 2p x and pi 2p y so we go to draw that low energy pi 2p x and pi 2p y so this one is pi 2p x and this one is pi 2p y then after that sigma 2p z pi star 2p x and pi star 2p y then sigma star 2p z so now first that electrons enter into low energy pi 2p x and pi 2p y we have that four electrons in the 2p orbital so here two electrons and then here two electrons using this molecular orbital configurations we can find that bond order stability of your molecule and also that magnetic property for bond order formula np minus na by 2 number of bonding electrons minus number of anti bonding electrons by 2 so number of bonding electrons how many bonding electrons are here wherever the star is there so they all are anti bonding electrons so here 2 4 then 6 8 so 8 bonding electrons minus anti bonding electrons here two then here two so four anti bonding electrons by two so, so double bond since there is a 
double bond and that carbon molecule is very stable and it can also exist. Now let us see that magnetic property. If you look at this bonding and antibonding electrons, there is no unpaired electrons. All of them are paired electrons. So that it is a diamagnetic. In carbon molecule, the bond order is 2. So due to that, it is very stable and it can exist. Then there is a double bond between these two carbon atoms in a carbon molecule. The magnetic property is diamagnetic. Thanks for watching.